was approached by Casey Olin. Uh, she offered me to lead the University YMCA team that was about to participate in the World YMCA Climate Action Summit. Uh, when I got the offer, I, I turned her offer down, not because I wasn't interested, but I was just worried that I couldn't live up to her expectation. Not long after that, I immediately regretted my decision because like I said, I actually was interested in that project, but I just don't think, I just didn't think that I could do it. But I reached back to her and I said, uh, Casey, do you still have that role available? And she gave me the chance to lead the team. Sometimes I wonder what would happen if I didn't reach back to her that day. Where would, would I be now? I guess we'll never know. But one thing that I know, I, I'm glad that I did reach back to her. I guess the best advice that I could give, and uh, this I don't think this is specific to the work that I do, but I think this can also be applicable to many other areas. Um, just don't be afraid to try. I guess there's just so many things to do, but we can only do so little. Um, and that is why Akuya and I and the new World YMCA Climate Action Summit team create a new program to, with the hope to raise awareness on these issues, especially the social injustice and environmental protection to bring more people to join the club. I just would like to thank everyone who have helped me get where I am today. I would like to thank Mark, Akuya, and Jen for nominating me. And I would also like to thank the YMCA Leadership Development Committee for selecting me. I, I also would like to thank Casey for giving me the chance to lead the University YMCA team that went to the World YMCA Climate Action Summit. I don't know if you know, but that experience opened up a door full of opportunities for me. So thank you so much. Well, I also would like to thank the YMCA staff and volunteers who have worked with me, the Permaculture Executive Board, co-founders, committee members, and the rest of the team, as well as my friends and family for believing in me and helping and supporting me. Without your help, I won't be where I am today.